Good evening everyone. Sorry, I seem to be running a bit late these days. I'm just going to try and find um, that up on my screen. <coughs> Alright, so uh, those of you who just want to, welcome to Facebook Live for Wednesday the 15th of March. Thank you for joining me. Um, I hope that... Um, I've got one person already and I can't see who it is because of the way and it's not giving me a notification again so hopefully um you'll be able to see mm. um, go there and it's not even coming up there how are we Hi Sue, how are you? Did you get a notification or were you just waiting? Because the last few times I've come online, people have said that they haven't been getting notifications. So I just wondered if it was actually working. <clears throat> Alright, so tonight is not going to be very long at all. Um, because we're going to make... Um, what is called a sour cream box this our cream container uh, which is a really awesome um, way of using up oh you got a notification excellent oh, mine hasn't got a notification um, so I'm going to use a piece of 6x6 thank you so for the you know that 6x6 designer series paper to make this you can make them any size that you want um, I wouldn't probably go much smaller than a 4x4 just um, because otherwise it's a little bit hard to manipulate um, but you could this is quite good if you've got some little treats so we did this one on Sunday night the 2468 box so you can fit a few things in there but this one would fit in a few more as well so we've got two lovelies on with us tonight thank you very much for joining us ladies I kind of put a thing up that said see you in five minutes so um Hopefully, um, that means that it was to kind of get people to have some kind of notification. Hi, Catherine. Um, so that they didn't miss out, especially because Facebook is weirdly not has weirdly not been giving notifications to people, which is odd. How are you, ladies? I hope you're well. Good weather down there. No one's getting rained out or flooded or anything. Um, let me. So I still need to order some tear and tape. So I've just cut this a little bit thinner because otherwise it takes up too much of my um, little pout. So we're going to make this called a sour cream box or a sour cream cream pouch. Uh, you've probably seen or heard it before it's called that it's an american uh style box and i think that's possibly what they have at one point have had their sour cream in obviously because it looks what it maybe what it looks like so you just need a piece of designer series paper or cardstock designer series paper is probably a bit easier because um it's a bit more flexible it's a bit more pliable so we're going to pop a piece of so decide what direction Just got back from New Plymouth in Auckland. Oh wow! Hopefully the flight was good for you. You didn't get stuck in any hideous Auckland traffic because that was not fun. Um, so yeah, decide which direction you want your pattern or your design to go. So if you want it, say I want my design to go this way. So that's going to be the top or bottom. All right, and so it's going to go landscape. My designs are going to go landscape. Hey Heidi. Um, if you wanted your landscapes to go, I mean, if you wanted your images to go um, vertical, then you would put your tape on this side here, okay? So it just depends on, it, this one's not so bad, but if you've got a really directional one, which I don't know if I've got in this pack, oh yeah, this one here, which is like a landscape, if you popped it here, 
you wouldn't see the landscape you would just get it like that so you would want to put your tape down this side here so that you can kind of get the full color range all right so okay um okay it's easter nearly i've got some just need to fill some find some bits to fill these up so what we're going to do is we're going to bring this around and you're going to make a cylinder basically actually let me see if i can put this back on because then i can show you a little trick that hopefully um so if you kind of curl it around before you take your um, before you take your tape off then you'll get it all kind of curved nicely into and then what you can do is you can just pull back a little bit of the tape uh, we want it to come out this way so that you can grab hold of that and then what we're going to do is just on the edge of where the tape is line up your edge there and just pinch your tape all right keeping in mind that you want to keep that as close to even as possible but then with this tape here you're just going to pull a little section and then just feed it down you want to make sure that the tape is not going to be exposed so you have to keep you could if you want to, if you've got a bulldog clip or a paper clip, put a clip down there. We'll just hold it at the bottom end now that it's started. All right. And then we're just going to pull that bit off. So you end up with a tube. Okay. So you can see how you've got that joint on the back. That's going to be um, your... You, you can decorate that part if you want to hide it, or you can put that as your back. Then, the next part, you're going to need some more double sided tape. And we're just going to use about that much. This is where it might get a little bit tricky. At one end, you're going to put, you're going to kind of flatten it a bit, and you're going to put your tape in. So I've got it so that this is my seam and it's going across the seam like that. So it's, is that perpendicular to the, to the seam? And then just make sure that your um, tape is, that you've burnished it down hard enough so that you can get, see this is my and tape is better it doesn't have that issue okay so you can see my tape in there so you want to make sure that that is evenly balanced and what you're going to do is you're just going to pinch the middle so that you can line those two pieces up there and then just pinch and go across like so and you end up with that little like a almost like a toothpaste tube Okay, if you've got a crimple or something, you can kind of run it over the bottom there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get another piece of designer series tape. Um, not designer series tape. Uh, another piece of tear and tape. This time, you're going to put it on the base so that this part is... So that when you squeeze it, it's going to go the opposite way. So you're going to go not... You're going to go opposite to where your seam is. All right, so I uh, should have done that a little bit further around. Never mind, I'd probably do it a little bit further around so that that might have to just make sure that that's down there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have our tube. We're going to have the edge that you've just done straight up and down, and then we're going to put the tape horizontally across here. So I'm just going to feed that in gently. Oh, it's not too far down though. Oh, what's happening? Let's start at this end. So you want to make sure that it's going to be... No! 
we don't need. Oh, that sounds exciting. Sorry, I've put you wrong. You don't need that second piece of tape if you've put it on. I'm really sorry. You can just leave it there. Just don't peel it off. Then what you're going to do is you're just actually going to pinch this so that you end up with a nice little... So that is our sour cream box. And then what you're going to do is get a hole punch for your pokey tool. Move the new couch into your lounge. That's exciting. We need a new couch. But find one that we like. That I'm prepared to pay the money for. Um, so that might actually just need a little bit of tape on that side. I didn't come close enough to the edge. I'm just going to pull that back and slide that in because I don't want it to come out. It's not going to work. While I'm fiddling around with this, I have some very exciting news. Well, our family has some very exciting news. Um, yesterday at 3 o'clock, my brother and sister-in-law had another baby uh, yesterday afternoon, and she is beautiful. Uh, didn't know what they were having this time. They've already got two little girls, and so now they have a third and uh, she is just gorgeous. All right. Oh, the other one's far too big. Yeah, that makes sense. So we're going to pinch that like that. I've just twisted mine a little bit because it was annoying me. So you're, gonna pinch, you're just pinching the top, all right, because then you've got that opening there that you can then fill it. Let's see what I've got here. Oh, okay. Look, this is like a mini sour cream packet. Oh, it probably doesn't fit, no. It doesn't fit in there. But there's a eclair and a dairy milk. Another eclair and another little. So that fits in nicely. And then what you can do is pinch that together. Punch some holes or poke some holes. Ah, oh, yeah. We've got a um, similar kind of thing and we've got a three-seater, a two-seater, and a lazy boy. That's because I like to lie down. And so, Matt wanted, Matt wanted a lazy boy, so I said, well, if you're having a lazy boy, I want a two-seater. So, that's why that happened. Um, so, you can punch that, put a hole through there, and then fasten that with some ribbon. If you don't have, thank you, Andrea, um, if you don't have... Um, if you don't want to put ribbon through it, or you don't want to have holes in it, you can use, where did I put them? You know, the same as what we used the other night with um, our purple box. You can just actually, you can get really little mini ones of these, and they're quite cute. Um, so that is, and then decorate it as, as, you want, as you want to. So you can pop it down and... I've twisted mine so it's not going to sit properly. Um, decorate it as you want to, punches, stamps. If you wanted to just use some, um, and then when they get it, they can just open it and then you can just, you can just tip it out and reuse it. Um, and it's got gorgeous prints and stuff. But you could also use cardstock and stamp it um, to make it specific to what you're wanting to do. So lots of um, lots of options, but it's a quick and easy. If you're doing a lot, it's a real quick and easy way to do some quick wrapping, but also use up some of your designer series paper if you've got some retired stuff that you want to use up or close to retiring that you want to use up. Um, like I said, I wouldn't go much smaller than a six by six. I probably actually would go not. No, I wouldn't go smaller than a 4 by 6 But I probably wouldn't... I would probably do a 6 by 4 and have the 4 as your height, but give yourself that extra space for the, um, the width of it. It just means that you can fit more in it. And you'd get a Ferrero or a Shear in there. You'd get a lint ball, a couple of little minis out of the um, mini bags of um, Cadbury's and 
uh, Whitaker's chocolates. So you get a little bit in there. You, if you didn't want to put so much in there, you could put some shredding in there. Um, okay. to 10. I've just seen that. I missed that. That's a big couch. 10 seater with a fold out bed. Yeah, no, that, that is a big, that is a big couch. Um, yeah. Okay. So that is, um, that is it for tonight. Um, hopefully that's useful to you, especially with, um, holiday coming up with Easter and, um, you know, sometimes our work friends, we, uh, give little treats to or, um, you know, family members that you want to give something to. doesn't have to be chocolates in there. It's a nice little container, a nice little um, way of putting a little gift of earrings or lots of Skittles. Uh, you yeah, you get lots of Skittles in that one. Um, you know, you could put earrings or a necklace or um, something like that in there would be quite nice as well as a gift rather than just as a chocolate box. Um, but... Yeah, so that's that. Hopefully um, you all have a chance to have a go. I wonder if I can... No, it doesn't look like I can. Um, have a go. I'll shake now. Yeah, and sometimes that's the trade-off, isn't it? You want a little bit more space in your lounge rather than having lots of big bulky furniture just because it seats more people. Um yeah, I'm, but I am all about comfort when it comes to um, lounge suites. Um, I find I would, because we spend a bit of time on the couch after after work, so um, it needs to be comfortable, and that's the main thing. So having a go, if you have a go at either of these two little cute boxes um, over the next couple of days, please do post it to my page. I love to see them. I will take some photos and post them up in a minute so that you've got places for you to um, put your images or your, yeah, your images of your creations when, when you do it. I was going to say, oh yeah, oh, well, you know, if you're mad at each other, I suppose a 10 seater is quite handy. So you don't have to sit close to each other. <laughs> but when there's only two of you, it's quite nice to be able to not have so much furniture cl cluttering up your house. All right, I'm going to get going. It's a bit early, I know. Sorry about that. Um, I need to get Piper from dance. And I will, before I go, very quickly take a photo of these. And you, I might make them one post. Then you can just post underneath. Um, either of them underneath there and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday alright bye for now see you later alligator